Right, we bring you more from what came out of that. Newsroom Africa's reporter, Mbali Tatani, joining us now for more on the Peter Mugaba Memorial Lecture. Uh, Mbali, a very good evening to you. We heard the ANC Secretary General really just urging the ANC Youth League to draw some inspiration from former leader Peter Mugaba. That's certainly right. And of course, we saw a very energized Secretary General of the ANC, Figile Mbalula, addressing a very packed hall here at the Paradise Hall in Bloemfontein. Of course, just also calling on young people in the ANC to agitate the movement and to occupy uh, the streets of the country when they're showing discontent to some of the problems continuing to face many people in this country. But just to get a bit of insight in terms of what those who are attending um, this memorial lecture thought of Mbalula's address, we are joined by two young people. The first one we'll start with, uh, his name is Paul. Paul, of course, a number of you very excited to hear from the Secretary General. Uh, many of you saying a very energized uh, Secretary General in which we saw. What do you make of his address? Okay. Um, of course, a lot of issues have been addressed by the Secretary General, Comrade Fikile Mbalula. But I like the fact that he indicated that poverty, unemployment and inequality are some of the challenges that are going to be addressed by the ANC NEC. And of course, the issues of service delivery is one of the challenges that we are faced with. The power cuts in South Africa he has indicated that, of course, they will come with a good strategy that they will implement to ensure that uh, we reduce the power cuts in South Africa. Issues that are facing young people, of course, unemployment is a big challenge. And I trust and hope that they will decisively deal with it because many young people are committing suicide, others are falling into depression. Of course, the issues of service delivery in Mangaung are one of the issues that have been addressed. And we are glad that there is intervention from the NEC and also the IP. And we are hopeful that these challenges will be addressed. Thank you. Something that he also touched on is the issue around leadership. Mayors, MECs are not doing their jobs. The ministers, what is your take on that? Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely in support of what he has addressed to say that Deployees of the ANC who have been deployed in government and, and those are not, who are not doing their jobs, they should uh, be chased out because now we cannot uh, suffer under their uh, leadership and also make the society to suffer. Because if they are not uh, delivering their duties and responsibilities, they are putting and compromising the African National Congress. Thank you very much. Of course, that is Paul. I'm also going to bring in Nompumalelo. Nompumalelo, if you can just come over here for us so that you don't get bumped by the vehicle here. Nompumalelo, what do you make of um, the newly uh, elected Secretary General's a message to you as young people calling on for you to be like Peter Mukava, to agitate uh, when you see when things are not being done in the right way, especially for a movement that has been uh, governing this country for such a long time? Uh, well, what Umfikile has said, the new SG was very inspiring, I must say. Uh, he literally says it's time for action, for young people to be at the forefront. If you heard him correctly, when he even speaks of ministers who are sleeping on the job, he even said that there's a plethora of young people who even have talent that can become these ministers. We need runners as the ANC. He spoke to issues of service delivery. But one thing that I must also highlight is what the convener of the NYTT has also said. She said it very clearly that if tomorrow's message does not speak to issues of young people, then we will not be part of it. She's clearly saying that um, going also to 2024 uh, elections and, 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 and going forward, the youth league will not just be jumping in the streets and saying that vote for ANC without having anything tangible to say to young people to say that uh, we have decreased youth unemployment, youth is no longer in poverty. So for me, uh, I think that uh, the mixture currently of the, even the current the NEC that is currently there, that is young, Abu Tandi Mahambesale, Abu Andile Lungisa, uh, the, our current convener herself, Comrade Nongai Bamsauli, Comrade Joy also being in the NEC. I think as young people who will be well represented in our and tomorrow we are really looking forward to the speech of the president to also 90% of it to be speaking to young people's issues, to be speaking to our social ills uh, as young people. But the one thing that also quickly also said was that as young people, let us not also drown into what is currently happening. There's a lot of drug abuse amongst us as young people, alcohol abuse as well. So he said let us not drown in those problems, but let us face them head on. 
and let us not also use our problems as excuses now to be immoral and act in an immoral way. He also said it very clearly, we are not a lost generation. In fact, uh, he also said we are the future. I want to also say we are not the future, we are the current. The future is now. The future uh, is our young kids that are coming up. We are the current and we must take this bait and, and we must run with it, but in a militant and disciplined manner. Thank you. Thank you very much. Of course, as you can hear them, Paul, uh, some of those who are in attendance uh, to this Peter Mugaba Memorial Lecture, of course, being conducted uh, by uh, the Secretary General of the ANC, Figile Mbalula, then Nombukunala also touching on the issues that they want President Cyril Ramaphosa to focus on tomorrow when he delivers the January 8th statement. And you would know that it is indeed that January 8th statement that will then filter through uh, to what we know is the State of the Nation address that we can expect uh, next month. And so coming to the fore here is the issues around addressing the challenges of young people, a high unemployment rate, uh, you know, joblessness. They say that it's something that they want the president to largely focus on, mainly the issues facing the young South Africans today. Very well, and Bali Tatani, we leave it there for now. Of course, uh, coming to you for further updates throughout the course of this evening, leaving it there for now.